You can now create and manage Google search campaigns using Adespresso. Adespresso offers simplified campaign creation and lets you manage your Google ads alongside Facebook and Instagram using a standardized interface. You can quickly shift budget toward better performing venues and share assets across campaigns and channels. Get started by connecting your Google Ads account in the Ads dashboard. Under your settings, click AdWords, then Connect. Choose your Google account and accept the prompts. If you're not already logged into Google, you'll be asked to do so. If you don't have a Google Ads account, no problem. Just create an account on Google and connect it to Adespresso. Once connected, you'll see a list of your ad accounts. Please note, you can only have one Google account connected at a time. To make your account more secure, we recommend removing any existing software being used for managing paid ads. Click Google Ads to start creating a new search network campaign. The four steps involved are shown on the right. First, enter a campaign name and a billing account. Make sure your campaign is selected, then save and proceed. Second, pick your campaign settings. Choose the networks where the ad should appear, for example, on Google Sites only or on partner sites as well. Now specify the language and location for your campaign. Selecting a location can be useful if, for example, your messaging changes by country. For your daily budget, pick standard to average out the spend over the course of a day or accelerated if you have a certain amount to spend in a shorter period, like two hours. It's mandatory to specify your campaign's start date, but you can leave the end date open if needed. For bidding, you might base your bids on maximizing conversions, which is great for performance campaigns, or clicks, which works well for brand engagement campaigns. Under ad extensions, you can put more links in your ad with site links, if, for example, you want to direct people to store hours or a specific product. Third, set up your ad groups and individual ads. Ad groups are a second level of targeting using keywords. One campaign can have several ad groups. Input your keywords. If you're unsure, use Get Keyword Ideas for suggestions. Just type in your website or the product or service you're selling and select the keywords from the list. Next, enter your URL, headline, and description. Use the plus sign to add variations for each and preview all the variations on the right. You can use Display Path to change how the final URL will appear. This is useful for shortening long URLs like UTM parameters. After you click Save, you'll see every possible combination of the individual elements you entered. Having multiple variations helps home in on the combinations that resonate best with your target audience. When scrolling through, you can remove any that don't make sense. If necessary, you can create additional ad variations or ad groups. For example, if you want to target another batch of keywords for A-B testing. Click Proceed to review all your campaign settings. If everything is in order, publish your campaign to Google Ads. Your campaign will still need to be approved by Google before going live which typically takes about one working day. As you progress through ad creation, all your work is saved as a draft. Recover drafts in your campaigns. Simply type the campaign name into the search bar. Once your Google Ads campaign is up and running, monitor and maintain it in the account dashboard. Select your campaign, which brings up the campaign dashboard. First, adjust the time range for the period you want to monitor. Next, review important campaign metrics in the main graph. You can drill down into daily, weekly, and monthly results. Under Campaign Details, you can edit settings by clicking the pencil. For example, pause your campaign or adjust its start date. The inspector breaks down your campaign data by elements like device, gender, and age. Inspector data can be viewed alongside other campaign information like spend and click-through rate. If your campaign isn't performing at the level you want it, and you'd like an expert to vet your settings, use Request Review. A Hootsuite Ads expert will create a short video for you showing specifically how to improve your campaign's performance. Under the Ad Groups tab, 
you can see how different baskets of keywords are performing against each other at the ad group level. In the All Ads tab, you can also review results at the individual ad level. If necessary, pause individual ads or ad groups within their respective tabs. The Google Ads campaign page is where you view all completed, enabled, and paused campaigns in one spot alongside their essential metrics.